The next section that holds pretty big profits at Dollar Trees and most dollar stores is the toy section. Now, instead of saying these toys are the ones you want to buy, I'm going to give you rules to source by. So make sure the toys are going to be branded or licensed toys. So like Matchbox cars, Hot Wheels products or cars, Disney minifigs, things that have keyword strength. Not unbranded random pedal balls, but things that people are searching for online, not because of what they are, but because of what they represent. I would have called this Monopoly game and the Guess Who game next to it car games when I was growing up. You put them in the car, you played that way. Uh, but I don't think that's the keyword that's often being searched. So we're gonna call them Monopoly travel board games. And so what we're doing now is using Monopoly or Guess Who as keywords to drive traffic to our, our, our cheap items that we can make a small profit off of. Another hack you can do is bundle these things. So the biggest cost on most Dollar Tree items is shipping. If you can bundle Monopoly, Guess Who, and whatever other games they have, you can lower the cost of shipping per item by bundling. Bundling is a great way to maximize your profits. And so what I recommend is on anything you're bundling, shoot for four or five items you can sell for 20 bucks plus about five bucks shipping. And that way you will maximize your profits.